What's up guys, Tobias here and welcome back to episode 7 of Let's Play Ultimate Team. Um, getting straight into this episode then, as you can see we only do have 298 coins so we can't actually afford a centre to vent to, to mid position player quite yet. So as you can see then in that position we do have a centre attacking mid but when we do get enough uh, coins to buy someone to go there I will buy someone and I've got my options available to me as to who I am going to buy. So we do go straight into the first game then and we do come up against a very, very strong strong Brazilian squad. You've got Neymar, Pato, Hulk, the transferred PSG version of Lucas who has an absolute banging uh, long shot. His shot power is incredible. He's got decent pace as well. Well, I say decent pace. His pace is 90 something. Um, and this was probably one of the most sweatiest games I've played. Not the hardest, the most sweatiest because simply I was, my palms were sweating playing this game because I was desperate not to lose. And it was extremely quiet because I was tryharding, he was tryharding, and there was literally barely any chances. That said, in the 45th minute, Aubameyang did get onto onto goal, and he did put that pass at Julius Cesar. So I did go into the dressing room at 1-0 up. But looking at the half-time stats, that just shows how quiet it is. So I've had two chances, which by my standards from this series already is extremely quiet. And my opposition had no shots on target. He had, he had more shots than me, but when it came to the shots on target, he had zero. I was creating myself a few more opportunities in the second half. I mean, Aubameyang should have scored that. Aubameyang here then passes it through to Michel Bastos. He should have curled that around the keeper. Um, unfortunately, I was unlucky not to get the rebound with the header. And as you can see, literally, I was hitting them all at Julio Cesar, and they weren't going in. And not, something had to give, uh, and so he did take the tactic of making a substitution. And he did actually bring on three. So he did bring on three pacey players which is something to uh, prop my ears up about but I did have the pace to counter attack him on and that is exactly what I did he was unfortunately there to lose the ball with his sense bag and it did fail to Pastore who did punish him for that mistake and that ball there as you can see through to Remy is absolutely a peach but the peach is coming here with the assist straight through to Aubameyang and that is an absolutely brilliant goal I did actually have to include the replay there First time on the inside of his left foot, I believe that was. Did put that into the back of the net and we did finish that game at 3-0, which was a great win for me. Even though this guy was putting the pressure on me the whole time, he unfortunately didn't even get a uh, shot on target by the end of the game. So that was the promotion. We did have the 12 points with the four, uh, four games left and we did need to get three more points to try and go for that championship. So we did get the 7,000 coins, I believe it is. But second, heading into this second game then, as you can see, we are pretty much playing at Celtic, who unfortunately lost to Juve earlier this week. 3-0, I believe it was. And I did actually open the scoring here with Pastore. Again, he's proving to be an absolute beast. I know when I purchased him, a lot of people were putting in the comment section that uh, he wasn't performing for you guys. So a lot of you have been playing with him as well, and you guys had been saying that he wasn't very good. But um, unfortunately, he did equalise for, for himself there. And straight after the equaliser, he did uh, bring it back to 2-1 to him in the 35th minute and straight after that he just pulled another goal there in fairness that goal to Russell was an absolute scorcher by him a great assist and a great finish but um, despite being 3-1 down I was keeping up the pressure Remy there then did get me back into the game bringing it to 3-2 but unfortunately this wasn't my day I mean that was just an unfortunate uh, deflection there just dropped down straight to Hasselbank and he did put that 4-2 and from there I was getting opportunities so it wasn't as if I wasn't getting them but things just weren't going my way I mean that was a nice chip I don't know why he tried to pick up the ball and it went out for a goal kick and that is how the second game ended. So unfortunately we did lose that game. I believe that is three losses now within this series which isn't too bad because I think I think we are on 15 wins. Uh, so we do go into head into our third and final game of this episode and as you can see we do come up against the silver team so I do have the advantage straight from kickoff and from kickoff I did have the opportunities there you can see Bia Biani got one on one of the keeper he should have buried it but nonetheless it did go out for a corner which I wasn't able to uh, take advantage of but poor clearance and defending by him I was extremely lucky there the ball fell to Remy he did put me one new up in under 10 minutes but for some reason he decided to quit even though he was only one nil down uh, he decided enough was enough which gave me the three points and actually allowed me to win the title which did give me, I believe it is 7,000 coins for the promotion to Division 2. So we do go there then and we've got enough coins and we do go and make some purchases. Now, at the beginning of this episode, uh, a series, I beg your pardon, you will see that I did buy Remy in the 4 2 1 2 uh, formation, I think it was. So he has been playing this whole time on a 7 chemistry and I obviously do want him to be playing on that 9 chemistry because he is such a beast. So I do go and spend 4,400 coins and go and buy that 4 1 2 1 2 Remy and I do go and sell that for 3 
312 version of Remy. Go send him into my trade pile. And I do actually auction him for 2,000 coins, which I bought him for, so we're not making a loss on him. And I do actually uh, put him up for 2,500 by now, because hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed that someone actually buys him so that we can make a profit. So we do stick him into our squad, and that is how our squad is ending on episode 7. So I hope you did enjoy this episode. Not many purchases will be increasing the amount of purchases made in the next episode. If we could smash 500 likes, as always, that would be absolutely awesome. Thank you ever so much for all your support you've been giving me in this series so far. And I hope you're looking forward to episode 8. And until my next video, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.